Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to day two of this beautiful Adobe live stream with Christy Campbell from Pink Pony Creative. I am super excited for day two. I know everybody else here is. Uh, good day to all my Kiwis out there. I'm probably not knowing all of the things, but Steve was all about Churbro yesterday. I uh, think that's supposed to be a good thing. So <laughs> if not, please let us know in the comments. Uh, but wherever you're tuning in from, Welcome to the stream. If you are on YouTube, make sure you come over to Behance at be.net slash Adobe Live so that we can actually talk to you, engage with you in chat, answer any questions that you have. Um, but without further ado, Christy, I'll let you tell everybody again who you are, what you're up to, and what we're going to be working on this today. All right. Hey, guys. I am Christy from Pink Pony Creative. I come from all the way in New Zealand, and basically I'm a branding and graphic designer um, and I own this studio called Pink Pony Creative. Um, just a little insight into my work. Some of you may have seen it yesterday. Um, I just do like a whole lot of really fun, bold, um, kind of quirky work, branding, packaging, your general graphic design um, and just some really sort of out there colorful stuff. So that's all about me, especially my pink blazer today. <laughs> I, I love the pink blazer. I love your color palette. I, I think my biggest surprise yesterday was knowing that you do pretty much all your illustrations yourself um, and yeah. just being blown away with your amazing illustration skills. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like all this little stuff. This is definitely all me. Um, yeah, no, I so love cute. the illustrations. I, I love them. They're definitely something I'm known for now, which is cool. Yeah, I mean, and I can see why your your talent and illustrations are is unmatched. It's incredible. So <laughs> thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Oh, cool, cool. Well, should I just get straight into it? I think let's do a little recap of what we were recap working on yesterday. yesterday and then sure where we're gonna be going today. All right. So yesterday we worked on a travel brochure that was almost like a modern take on um, your average brochure that you'd see um, when you come to a uh, country. Um, so this is a Hawaii brochure, Slice of Paradise, Discover Hawaii, um, very inspirational. <laughs> and basically we just created this um, really funky, bold, like edgy style um, design. So we're using like gradient mats on the imagery. Um, I've brought in these really cool illustrative um icons that i actually drew out for all of you guys if you don't if you missed it i hand drew them and then put them into illustrator yesterday so go back and watch that if you haven't um converted them into vectors and then pull them into indesign which is a really cool way to just add some um, interest and features in your work uh and then so following that we just did the cover page we you know figured out our fonts our color palette and then we just started to work through the brochure and, um, you know, we went for the really big typography and some really nice white space and just continued to kind of work through it there. And then we started to go into the more heavier content on the third page and on the third spread. And so, um, yeah, that's kind of where we were at yesterday. Hopefully you guys followed it along and really enjoyed it. Um, I know I did. So I'm excited to jump into it today and get designing. Yeah, absolutely. I know a chat was going crazy yesterday. They love the illustrations. I love the spreads that you've been working on. But also, in case you are just tuning in for the first time today, we also have a link in chat that will give you all the files and some of these sketches and vector pieces that you've done. So super helpful for people to get started. I know there was a bunch of people yesterday looking for those illustration pieces for their own personal projects. And so that was a great leg up. So we'll get that linked again in chat, and then you can click it there. 
Awesome. And yeah, free feel, feel free to use those sketches wherever you want, if you use them to use them commercially if you want to as well. I'm not bothered. They were um, here for you guys to use and have. So totally happy for you to do that. Um, so jumping into kind of, let's go back to the plan that we had yesterday. Um, so I started out with this wireframe um, just to really sketch out where we were going to go with the um, with the work. You know, we've got our heading, we've done that, we've done our contents page, we've done the snorkeling page, which was the first page of all the content. And then now we're going to head into the surfing page. Obviously, Hawaii is well known for its surfing. Um, but something I wanted to do, I was thinking about overnight as well, how I could um, give you guys a few more really cool tips in, in design and show you something a little bit different. So I thought, let's add... Um, between this page and the next surfing page, I'm gonna add like a full spread, really big type, um, just to show you a couple of little tricks and tips that I know in InDesign. Um, so, you know, with the flow of the work of the brochure, I wouldn't normally go from, you know, we've just done our contents, our, you know, first bit of content. I'd probably have another page full of content, but in this instance, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this really cool full page spread, big type, and we're going to um, insert like an image into the type, um, which is always a nice little trick. So I thought we could introduce um, the big, uh, the surfing uh, bit of the brochure by having a big spread that says surfs up. Love it. And if you followed along yesterday, you know I was struggling with my paragraph styles. <laughs> and I went ahead and I just actually fixed those up um, <laughs> this morning to make sure I had them nailed. Um, so we're going to go into heading and I'm going to make it really big, actually. So let's go for a nice big typeface. I love that that you kind of went back and retweaked some of the stuff. What did you find was happening with your paragraph styles that you adjusted? I actually, I'm not sure. I think what it was, was that the fact that I had um, character styles as well. And I think mm. it was almost something was happening there and I had to go ahead and delete them all and just start again. And then it seemed to have worked, but I wasn't really sure because if you missed yesterday, what I had done was I started to create my paragraph styles as character styles, um, purely accidental. <laughs> it wasn't anything to do with my thinking, but then when I went back and changed it, I think it was because they were doubling up a little bit and something was happening there. So um, just went ahead and fixed them all and it's made it a whole lot easier, that's for sure. Um, oh, that's awesome. So we'll just make them this really big. I want it to be massive. When I you're designing know. stuff that, that crosses these spreads and might have a trim or be stapled there or mm. however the binding is, how do you typically try to adjust for well, that or compensate for it? Yeah, I'm just thinking now, you know, if this was a printed brochure, obviously sometimes it's lucky you get the space here within mm -hmm. the, you might, it might sit here, but obviously it'll be a bit unbalanced, but you know, actually that doesn't even look too bad. Um, having it slightly off to one side there, uh, but maybe we could even look at going, um, left aligning it and dropping that up mm. um, and having it all on that uh, left page. Uh, let's just increase this a bit. Um, yeah, because if we get this printed, this and the F was sitting in that um, staple line, you would lose part of it, which wouldn't be the best uh, result. Uh, uh, and I think this would be quite um, a little bit off balance. Let's actually bring this back up. You know what we could do? I wonder if this will work. I'm going to add in the word dude. <laughs> Make it very, well, this is very Finding Nemo actually. Let's see where we get to here. Um, it still might actually potentially make, I actually think that, see having the U in the middle there might be okay. And this isn't a thick booklet, it's about 16 pages. So your staple isn't going to be that deep. Um, right. So I think it will be, it will actually sit quite nicely there. Let's let's keep it here, eh? So from here, what I thought was a really cool little tip that if you're beginning or um, you know you're just learning InDesign, you might not know this tip. So you basically get your type, outline it. You can use your hotkeys, which are Command Shift O. Um, and from here, we're just going to place an image inside the text. So going Command D, and that should bring up your images. And then let's find. 
some surfing and we'll pop this one here in. and then we're starting to see the image within the text which is really cool which is just like a cool funky feature um, i thought this would be cool to show that's a cool feature yeah okay. let's try and bring up so we can get someone surfing within the and even following on from yesterday we could actually add a gradient map to this image and it might come out quite nicely we almost need like an extra black oh. or bold more 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 type real estate so the image could show yeah 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 actually thinking about it we might be better off i'm gonna go back actually and we could be way way better off to use the slightly bolder version in this type um so let's go all the way back to just before we outlined it. There's actually a bold version here. Yeah, this could come up quite nicely. And I might even try this other image where there's a bit more darker waves coming in rather than the, the whitewash. <laughs> all right, let's try this. That's really cool seeing the waves kind of break through the type a little bit. It's really nice. Yeah, see, even though you can't see the surfer here, I quite like how they're sitting there. So, you know, that just gives you, I think for this instance, let's just leave it as is like this. Um, just giving you that really cool, effective surfs up dude. And we can even add a few of our um, illustrations into this, uh, which would be kind of cool. This is when our waves could come in, bring those across. Oh, fun. Yeah. This is gonna look quite cool actually. You just love that when you start throwing things in and you're like, wow, that's actually really nice. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, this is this is coming coming together nicely. <laughs> good, good job, me. <laughs> yeah. Gold star for you. Yeah. Even pull this guy in. Fergie says, ooh, that looks cool. And Steve says, I can hear the Hawaii Five O theme music. Oh, beautiful. You could even it's working think as about intended. It. <laughs> I like it. We could even pull this one. Maybe it doesn't look so much like a wave there. Mm, didn't love them there. Can think about, um, yeah, this is looking quite, quite funky. I just love, I don't know what it is about big typeface, like across a spread. It's just, just looks so good. Very powerful. There's just something right. so confident about it. That's so like, yeah, amazing. Definitely. I like that um, take on it confident. Well, what about, I feel like the surfboards might look too overpowering, a little bikini. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> it's like you're dressing the ass almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe the bikini looks a bit random. Can even try and put it behind there. Oh, I'm not loving the bikini actually. We just need some splashes. Oh, look at that. This is exactly what we need. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, perfect. Maybe just a couple more. Um, all right, some cool little water droplets here. Put them in. The surf spelt with a apostrophe there. Hopefully not. As a designer, oh. my spelling isn't that good. Definitely more of a visual person. <laughs> Let me see. A nice little yeah this is looking quite cool <laughs> apparently there's a movie called surfs up too it's oh really it was like an australian movie and it's got like a penguin oh shia LaBeouf is in it <laughs> and jeff bridges <laughs> oh, I love Zoe that. Deschanel. <laughs> oh there's quite a big uh big cast there wow it's first thing on google says why is surfs up so good so I'll have to view that. <laughs> Recommendation of the week is to go and watch Surf's Up. <laughs> Maybe we'll bring him forward. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit EG. It does seem to need an apostrophe. Oh, no. I thought that would be the case. Yeah, ruins everything. Well, you know what? We're living life on the edge today. What, what if you just made one of the <laughs> droplets? Um, oh, yeah the apostrophe there. 
Oh, he almost needs to be like one of these ones mm -hmm. where we're a little bit more curved. I'm liking this idea, this uh, creativity. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like this is quite a fun little piece. Uh, see if we, let's have a go at taking that image behind. This could um, not actually come out as strong as I thought, but let's try and make the, um, introduce that gradient map into this image. It actually, because it is so blue, it might not show up that much. So yesterday, if you guys were following along, we used an action um, in Photoshop and created this gradient map in Adobe Live uh, action. So we're just going to remove those last two because what we did yesterday. And when we play it, boom, there's the gradient map. It's actually come out quite strong here. All right, let's just save this one. Um, save him there. Open him back up. See what he looks like. Ooh. Striking. <laughs> I don't know what I prefer, actually. I kind of I liked it without the, the color. Map, I think. Yeah. yeah. Especially because you start, it, I think it looks more like a wave with mm -hmm. um, that showing. That one's not working for me. All right. I think we're looking quite cool, even just for this spread. Nice and simple. Um, things looking pretty cool there. You could even, as in like an additional little tip, you could look at even, um, not that I would do it for this spread, uh, if we copy that image behind <clears throat> that's within the text and then place it in place. And if we're sending this to the back, we could even look at doing something like, this is where you could maybe bring in a black and white version or mm. the gradient map and then you've got those oh that looks nasty but <laughs> 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 you'd see what i mean where you could bring in maybe maybe it is the same color maybe it's the and then we're, we're seeing a, a slight something like that could look quite cool um but i think in this case i prefer it when it's just really clean stripped back and we've just got the text there um, what do you guys think? Yeah, chat, what? tell us what you Without. think. Yeah. Do you Let want it more know. busy? Do you like it clean? What other feedback I think I, have? I think I like it cleaner, actually. I do as well. Yeah, definitely cleaner. I think especially in the context of your uh, editorial work right now, I feel like this is a really healthy like amount of like breathing room. So definitely. as you kind of get it in the story, you kind of have a a page kind of just reset and then get back into the content. Yeah, especially because the first few pages are quite busy. You know, we've got the gradient maps, the illustrations. It's nice to have that breathing space mm -hmm. here. Have a little breather. All right, let's head on to the next page, which is going to be the surfing page. So this is when we bring in a bit more content. Um, we're going to lay out um, using our grids again and see how we go to from there. Uh, Stephen and Val both say that they love it and it's looking great. So. Oh, good. I'm glad, guys. Thank you for the, <laughs> the positive tips. All right. Surfing. So I've kind of just like briefly laid this out. This was definitely something that I didn't really think about. I just kind of placed them there. So I was thinking maybe we'll have big image, two images, the text. Um, and maybe on this page, we'll have a bit of text here as well on the image, depending on how that starts to work out. So let's just go ahead and I'll start to start to map out this whole page. Uh, all right. Where are we at? We're doing surfing. So let's hit us with a really nice surfing shot. Oh my gosh, like there's so many great photos. There is surfing images are just cool. Like there's just some cool, cool stuff. Um, oh, even this one, I like this. Even they're not when, physically surfing in this photo, but. When you have so many wonderful photos, how do you choose which one to choose, like put in there? Ooh, good question. I think it's like a gut feel, but also I do find that when you start to map out your page or your structure, if you do have quite a few good images, just place some kind of placeholders in there. And then when you're starting to bring in some text, you know, see what works. Maybe we're gonna have a heading up here because we've got a really nice space for 
heading, maybe a bit of text in there, and then your text here too. You know, if we were using a different image, the heading and the text might not work up in that left corner. So, you know, mapping out the page, trying to find what works with the content, I think is key as well. Um, so let's bring in this surfing. Oh, look up, we've got another, I've put dude in here as well. Ride those sure. waves, dude. <laughs> so we've got dude twice, but hey. Maybe let's make it just ride those waves instead of dude. There we go. So I'm going to start to pull in these headings. So we'll bring in this one. And we're going to use our paragraph styles that we've set up correctly. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, nice. And pull him in. And then we'll start to bring in the subheading, top surfing locations you can't miss. I was thinking, what does that say? Here we go. I'm no copywriter, but I wrote, wrote all this myself. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well done. I think that's, <laughs> really, that's always super fun when you're doing these things, you know, make your own copy because yeah, well, some, sometimes it's really boring, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, maybe I'm gonna, I wanna see what this looks like just on there. Nah, it doesn't really work like that. I think it works better just in the whole, using the one uh, one line there. Maybe this could look quite good. This could be the gradient map on this page. Um, actually, let's just continue. I'll continue to map out the page with the text and stuff. And then we can always go into changing the gradient map, adding that, see how that looks. All right, so let's pull in. Oh. I'm picking out something else there. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go and make that into the subheadings. Oh, can't remember what one we had yesterday. Let's go back. We need this little guy. Content subheading. That's the one. Cool. Content subheading. All right. And then we'll bring in these little ones. These are kind of just your location. I've got these under as like body bold. And then we're going to just add in some placeholder text. I'm so glad Adobe, you know, put in placeholder text. Don't know what we'd do without it. Oh, it's so nice. It's super <laughs> it is. <laughs> so even like looking at this here, I can start to see that I would like to see some text on this page, but obviously it's not going to work that nicely because of the image. Maybe if it was an image with like, a really clear sky and it was just blue that would work quite nicely but yeah. let's just continue to map out the rest of the page i thought we could also put in um some i'm actually just getting a parcel <laughs> <laughs> and he's right there <laughs> all right um so we're going to add in just uh let's put in one of these massive big wave surfing images. All right, so we're just gonna start to map this out. What I typically do as well, I always just copy and paste. If I've got, you know, a whole lot of body text that I've already popped in, copy and paste that over, it just makes it all so much easier. Absolutely. Let's just copy and paste and... Pamela that says in. that her mom won a trip off the radio to Hawaii in the 80s. Oh my God, important. that's epic. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, my family actually have been quite lucky in that sense too. We won a, and all the way from New Zealand, won a trip to America to go to Disneyland as kids. <laughs> so that was quite epic. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. It's a long flight. It, it is a long flight actually, especially it was quite a few years ago. So I think we would have had to do a few stops. You can't go straight to LA or anything. All right. See what I was thinking for this kind of page looks a bit tight there actually but maybe we could have I don't love how this is looking actually I'm thinking what do you not like about it I think because at the moment the these columns here this column here almost need to match that a little bit maybe we have to bring it out stretch it mm. out a bit more um so we're stretching those out and then see so even that's looking a little bit better already um and maybe we could start to bring this column across so we're sort of hitting that same 
width and then we can open this up a little bit more to kind of balance it out a bit bringing that up still not loving it the great thing if people are designing with us at home is if they don't want to use the you know the placeholder text that you have in Adobe, which is just lorem ipsum. You can also just Wikipedia places, you know, North Shore has Recently. a ton of stuff on Wikipedia. You can pull some of that stuff in just as placeholder copy. I know a lot of people in chat are talking about how difficult it is to write copy from time to time. Oh, on okay. Projects. Yeah, and, definitely. And if you don't um, want to use placeholder text, that's typically a good way of just filling it with relevant copy. For sure. You know, it's so interesting, especially when I started out in my business, I designed, I was working for other people for um, like seven or eight years um, as a graphic designer for other businesses. But when I started my own business, I found that um, you feel the pressure to then also become a copywriter and also become a, <laughs> a, a web developer and also a social media manager. But yep. I totally think that it's okay to say no <laughs> and say, uh, you know, that's not in my er area of expertise and then refer other people. Um, Absolutely. It's also a great way to start building your network, you know, because you don't want to be able to handle mm. all that for your clients as well. So meeting no, social media not. managers or people to help you with the web stuff will help you with your for business sure. as well. It'll help a lot, actually. Um, and I just don't think, like, I'm not a very good speller. So I don't know why anyone would want me as a copywriter, but I'm a good designer. So there you go. All right. I always love when you're making a logo and then you've been looking at one word for so long that it feels like it's misspelled. I definitely, or it starts looking really weird and really yeah. odd. And you're kind of like, is this even right? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. You know, not sure why, but I'm not loving where this is going. I, um, I almost think, you know what we could also do? Let's actually drop these uh, to two of these columns and make, extend them up a bit. And we're gonna, so for me, like, you know, doing editorial design or doing any kind of layout is just so trial and error. Um, and sometimes, depending on how creative you feel that day, it might take so much longer than other days. Um, it's like logo design and things. Some days you'll smash it out and feel so confident. And other days you'll be struggling and, you know, it's been two days and you're still not getting anything, anything right. I, um, I really like how you've narrowed these down and then they're just kind of sitting there in those yeah. columns. It's, yeah, it feels like you're looking through like a window pane almost. Yeah, I see. I think this is a little bit nicer with the white space. I think this mm -hmm. is going to be too. I see even like, <clears throat> I kind of so nice. like, yeah, I like how those are sitting there. Uh, so maybe we can kind of work, work around with this and see where we could go with it. Maybe we start to see even this, um, you could see me thinking just then. I paused. <laughs> start to see this. Um, on a horizontal. Oh, fun. What do, they, what do we say here? Trust the process. Exactly. Trust the process. Um, and, you know, and then we could even start to, you could swap the images around here. So we've, we've got all of our text lined up and the images are below rather than being on top. Um, that could also look quite, quite nice. Start to see how that's shaping do that. Or, I feel like but you need like, them on top. I think I do need them there on the, on the top. It yeah. definitely worked a little bit nicer. I think it's because the JAWS uh, copy doesn't really fill the, the horizontal space in your eye. So it feels yeah. like it's not symmetrical as much as with the images on top. I don't know. Definitely. So that we're, I think we're getting somewhere though. This is looking a bit a bit tidier even if we pull this across of course says, narrow I love it that. down oh good glad uh, yeah, this is really coming together nicely yeah i think so and then you could even um bring this right up as well i just once again love the big text pull them even really high 
Um, I think this is where we could actually bring in, maybe those two lines will start to work quite nicely and you write a line in there. Even something, something sort of along these lines. See how that's starting to yeah, sort of shape fit, together? It fit, uh, follows kind of some of the, the type styles from earlier where you're locking them up into the corners of the, the frame. Yeah, yeah. I should quite like it sitting in line with um, that, that text yeah, there. Yeah, that's nice. All it's right, nice also because you were you were trying to scratch that itch a little bit yesterday where you wanted to do the the hor the vertically like definitely and it wasn't going to work like on this page mm. you know if we had the the heading here it feels really you know you're reading the left side before the heading which doesn't make sense but obviously with this this kind of spread you're reading that really big bold heading first it's in the le top left corner and then it's bringing your eye down to the right bottom corner which is nice um, absolutely all right well, let's see if we can find another cool image um that could potentially work so even something like this could and you just drop them right down oh yeah that's so much nicer yeah and maybe this is where we even bring so it's kind of funky quite like this uh yeah and then the text there is so much more readable um, which is really nice. Nice on the eye, always good. I'm going to see agree. how we feel about adding a gradient map to this guy. Um, and I'll just save him. Bring him across. Um, cool. I'd love to know if the, anyone in the, um, anyone watching has any questions about anything that I'm doing or, um, They'd love to know how to do a specific technique. Feel free, feel free to ask. I like the white there actually, that's quite nice. Yes, uh, chat, please ask away. Yeah. <laughs> ask away. Oh, we can also go. later on, we can always test a spread if you ever wanted to and then have chat vote on it with a poll. Oh yeah, so that'd be cool. That's an option. That could be really line. cool. That's an option. That sounds like a cool option. All right, now let's, we're going for the surfing. So let's see. I'm not sure about how these surfboards will look because I think they're too bulky. They're too big. Unless we, no, it could do. Is even bring, he might look like he's floating. So might not work as well. Yeah, I was even thinking about bringing him in somewhere there, but it doesn't look that good there. And then he just looks like a floating board in the middle of the ocean there. <laughs> looks like I wiped out. <laughs> yeah, someone someone wiped out and fell off their board, sadly. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll try another one. Steve says it'd be tempting to put a wave text uh, warp on the word waves. Oh, yeah. Oh, like a wave through there? Yeah, like if you were to do like the, the wave warp distort on it. Oh, yes. Can you do that in InDesign? I don't know. Or would it be just... An illustrator. You could even you might just do an illustrator. Yeah. I'm sure you can do it in InDesign, but I think there's even I wonder if I made a wave, big wave surf. What about this guy? Or maybe this one. This could look actually quite cool, even though we just said surfs up before. Hey, that's all right. We're not we're not here for the the, the uh con the copywriting, we're here for the design. Absolutely. <laughs> and let's just pop him in. Even he could look quite cool just sort of sitting there. Steve says, no, you'd have to do it in Photoshop or Illustrator. Yeah, did think so, actually. Yeah. All right. No, it's interesting as a designer, when I was learning and even at university, I don't remember doing much in, in, in that was a mouthful, in <laughs> Illustrator. <laughs> I feel like we only did, we did so much in design and so much Photoshop, but Illustrator didn't seem to be like a massive thing, but I don't know. I went to uni between 2011 to 2013, so sort of a little while ago, but uh, all right, let's go. I'm trying to remember what was the first thing I learned. I think I learned Photoshop first. What was the first tool you learned? I think it, I learned Photoshop too as well. And I I did it when I was, I would have been pretty young, like 
or like, you know, 14 and I wanted to change the color of my hair. So I decided to take a photo and see if I could Photoshop it. And it looked shocking, but you know, that's where some, the love for design started to spark. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yeah. So I just want to bring in a few of these little guys. See what they all look like. I wonder if this would look too much. You could even take him behind, behind the text there. What was the first thing that you designed that was like, oh, maybe I'm like, I can make a career out of this or like, Ooh. I'm pretty good at this. I don't know. I'm just, I wonder what it was. Like when I look back, I actually still have my work from school. Um, some of my work that I did at school and it's funny to look back and I remember, I think I've actually got it on my Instagram. I like reviewed my old work and I kind of took the piss out of it because it was, you know, not the best. I was clearly learning. Um, yeah. but, uh, in the work I I've made this flyer, um, for fitness and I'm pretty sure I did it on word. It was very, you could, you could just tell, you know, you can tell yeah, when yeah. something's done on word. <laughs> did you have the, the 3d word tool? Yes. Like all about that, you know, classic. <laughs> love it. Really a classic like your, um, mix of what's the font that was uh, called out yesterday. Comic Sense and I can't remember what it was. Comic Papyrus. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I should have um, preloaded it and we could have uh, oh, added it to my... <laughs> really missed opportunity. Really Honestly, missed opportunity. This ties in perfectly because I said the word poll. Voodoo Val <laughs> heard it in her subconscious and made a poll. So we already have a poll going in chat right now. And oh, really? The poll is... I love Should it. We never speak of comic papyrus again. Oh, oh, here for it. Here for and it. <laughs> unfortunately, her options are a little bit biased because there's three options. There's yes with a period. Okay. Yep. Then there's an all caps yes with an exclamation mark. <laughs> and then there's yas queen. Oh, so, I think I'm I think I'll be going for the yas queen. <laughs> Yes, I'm all about that. Yeah. Who was this you. person? They sound fun. Voodoo Val is the <laughs> most fun. <laughs> She's amazing. She's a yeah, longtime that... streamer and a moderator. She's amazing. Oh, I love it. Uh, also my she best friend. Uh, she loves Star Wars. We did a design off once together where oh, this I is, is this your butt. best friend? Well, yeah, she's everybody's best friend, but mine. Oh, amazing. Also. Uh, I and yes, it. Queen has got two votes so far and is winning. So, oh yes, Queen. four votes now and winning. <laughs> Get your votes in. And if you're wondering where's this poll, in. how can I vote? <laughs> you're probably on YouTube, and you need to come on over to Behance on be.net slash Adobe Live and hang out with us here. And Shauna says I'm on Voodoo Val's side, Laz. Hmm. Comic Papyrus is great. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to like visualize what it would look like, but I can't at the moment. It's a tricky well, one. Well, it's got the best of both worlds. It's got the papyrus texture on the Comic <laughs> Sans like curviness. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if um this font would have ever got so much uh, media before. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Two days in a row. <laughs> it's no, this is a long every time I'm on. <laughs> even I had my I did a racing logo stream a long time ago and yep. we made a little racing logo with comic papyrus. So oh, I love it. That's a thing. <laughs> did it look um okay? Ah <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to a... say bad or good. <laughs> exactly. I think Avatar 2 needs it for their headers. Oh, that would be means. ideal, I reckon. Ideal. <laughs> All right. I think we're starting to look pretty good here. I'm actually happy with how this is sort of coming along. <clears throat> yeah, it's looking great. Mm. Got a little bit of your cute surfboard there. Your surf's up, even though we just set it in the pre uh, previous spread. That's okay. All right. Oh, you've got Jaws here too, which is cool. Let's pop the Jaws. Shauna says that she'll never watch the Avatar again because the subtitles are in Papyrus. Are they really? I can't no. believe that. 
Neither can I. That is wild. <laughs> that is crazy. Bit of jaws. So I think if we reduce that, that'll change the air there. You know what? I'm quite happy with it. where this is going. We're looking pretty, pretty tidy. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously the textures were not quite right, but hey, that's all right. We're looking pretty good. I love that you can make the polls in the chat too. Oh yeah, the polls Very are cool. amazing. So if you ever yeah. did want to do a poll, we can spin one up real quick. Yeah, that's a really cool little feature. All right. You know what we haven't done in this book? Page what? numbers. Page numbers. Let's go ahead and just put some page numbers in there. Who needs page make... numbers? Oh, you know, we've got a contents, so. Oh, true, <laughs> good point. <laughs> So let's throw the page numbers in there. Uh, let's go into type. Apply. No, that's the wrong one. What am I doing here? Special characters. Here we go. Current page number. I don't know why I'm a real big fan of adding a, let's make it, um, adding a zero in front of them. I just like a couple extra numbers, you know? So what happens zero. when you have a zero and you're in double digits? It'll be zero ten. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think I love, I just love how the zeros look in this font. Mm -hmm. um, they look pretty cool. So let's just add him. We'll make him quite a bit smaller too, because we're at 11 right now. So he's actually, if you print, print a, an 11 point a type out, that's going to be kind of big. Let's make it a nice little eight. Pop them in the corner there. And let's see where we're up to. So if we go into our page, oh, there he is. He's looking good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let me see it there. He's obviously, he might be disappeared here, but you know what? It's all right. Let's maybe just pull it across and nice. And that's where we can bring in our page numbers on the contents page. So we're looking quite cool here. I do like where we're heading. All right, I think for this page for now, we're, we're going pretty well. I agree. Yeah. Cool, all right, what's the next page? This is where we'll head on to view, views. I should have put views there. So this is all about, you know, your, your awesome, beautiful Hawaii that you would see. I wanna do something really different with the layout, so. I'm thinking we could even pull in like an image that kind of goes across and then we're seeing our, you know, our headings here. So let's kind of, and it can be kind of this style. Let's do something like this. So maybe we'll spread it across to that point. So we could go one, two, three. That could look really nice, actually. Well, I'm feeling creative today, which is always good because I'm on Adobe Live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it. Some days when, when everything's firing right, it feels so good. Nothing it does. Than that. And then there are definitely those days where you seem to get a little stuck and you just can't think of much. Yep. And that's okay too. And that's okay. We all have those days. All right. I didn't give this one a heading. Hmm. What could we call it? Um, Let's, for now, because we don't have a heading, I'm just going to type in heading to go here. And we'll make him a heading size. And we'll start mapping out this page once again. So let's go. We've got our subheadings. Um, this is a content subheading, actually. So I reckon we're going to go, we could go the three grids here. So we've almost got one, two three and we could start to see how that would look when we pull it all together this could look quite quite cool um, pull this one here oh he just fits woohoo Woo. <laughs> i loved your little woohoo <laughs> ecstatic it's my friday today so oh, congratulations Friday's feeling good <laughs> thank you <laughs> heading on into the weekend Cool. 
All, right. All I want to do this weekend now is surf because of this for some reason. Who would have oh. thought? And isn't it cold where you are? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not, and hey. I don't know how to surf. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, it gives you the opportunity to learn. Exactly. I could, however, go surfing. It is summer over here in New Zealand, so, and it's rather warm, and I'm wearing a blazer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's just keep shaping this one out. So obviously for something like this, if you were actually, this was a real brochure, you know, the content might all be quite different. So mm -hmm. you might find this, you know, might be a little bit shorter than this bit of content or that bit of content could be a little bit longer. So you can then start to play in, or maybe if that one's shorter, it should sit on the right side rather than, so then this is the, you know, which would swap short uh, jaws and this bay around just so it sits a bit nicer and it looks a bit more balanced. Um, and it's got that nice flow there. That's a great tip. Mm. Yeah, it's tricky sometimes with content, you know, trying to get around it, especially trying to, if you've got like a whole lot of content, you're trying to fit it all on one page. Yeah. Um, it can be, it can be tricky to navigate. I also like to, when I'm like shaping these things, I like to delete like, the first couple of sentences from the placeholder text on each thing. So that it feels like a different body copy, even though it's the same content, yeah. just like sometimes so, it doesn't look exactly the same for each content. Exactly. Block. Even sort of um, adding in, you know, a little uh, spacing, say even like here. Mm. So it looks slightly different to exactly. the previous. Yeah, that's for sure. It's just a good way to like get your mock-ups closer to a higher fidelity for a client without yeah. doing too much effort. See, I missed out on the, the subheadings here too. You know, with this one, we've got ride those waves, top surfing locations you can't miss. And then here we've got nothing, but hey. It's okay. I think the way that you've shaped it right now looks great. Yeah. So we can go, let's just subheading here. We can start to, you know, maybe we could even, maybe that could be, there's so many different ways you can do layouts, eh? especially with this six grid. You can see that I'm really, you know, utilizing all those spaces. So, you know, instead of the previous grid, maybe we could have it something like this where you've got your, everything on the left side and then you've got your text here i'm just kind of mapping out a few examples but i prefer the old one um, but there's so many different options you can use with the six grid which is really really nice um let's go back to where we had the the image all right so this is i just love how sh how quickly you showed the possibilities within that system and how flexible oh, that's it is good. <laughs> yeah it's a really nice grid uh, layout, I think. So six by six and to the to the margins, not so much the page. Um, I am thinking though, you know, looking at this, I feel like within this gap here, it should be a little bit bigger. Like I'd probably, for me, I'd almost like to see the same width for something like this between those two, for some reason. My eye kind of, let's just sort of see how that would look if we were to change it. I don't know. Like I said, all a bit of trial and error. And I feel like, you know what I just did? I was measuring with a square, which I'm sure every designer does. <laughs> <laughs> Is that I a love thing measuring as well? with a square. It's my, <laughs> yeah. my favorite measuring tool. <laughs> I've done it since I started and I don't think I'll ever change. <laughs> yeah. When people ask millimeters or inches, I say square. Square. It's actually one square or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. The views. So this is where we see beautiful Hawaii. Maybe we'll go these famous uh, gardens. What are they called? I've got the name. Quite like this one. This could look really nice here. I actually don't know how you say that. I'm going to butcher it, so I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to attempt that one. Ooh, botanical gardens, we'll just call them. They're beautiful. Unfortunately, when I was in Hawaii, we didn't actually go here. I Sounds like you need another there. trip. Oh, definitely. Post-COVID would be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're looking good. See, and in this kind of image, we could even look at bringing the heading up. Maybe he becomes white. 
and he could look quite cool there. Oh, funky. See, it's interesting actually looking at all the other pictures we've played with. They're all oceans, oh, except for that one. I was going to say, so the gradient map works really nice with the ocean. Um, and that actually works okay. This works nice. We've seen the ocean because it's blue. But I wonder what it would look like on this page where we've got greenery and it's quite a green scene. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the gradient map would look as good. I like your heading being aligned to the bottom there. Mm. I like that too, actually. You know, looking at where this is going, I would potentially, if this was a real project, I would consider maybe removing the gradient maps and keeping them all full color. I just mm. don't know, looking at it, I'm not sure bringing in like the two images, how it works well. Like yeah. I love the spread. And I love how it's the white clear space with the gradient map image. Um, but I'm just wondering if it, this was a real project, you know, maybe I'd go ahead and then sort of even insert full color images to the whole thing, see how that worked, see if I prefer to over the gradient map mixing with full color images. Yeah. Um, maybe if we have time at the end, we can spend a little bit just updating those images and then throw a poll Seeing in chat. what it looked like. Yeah, even here as a quick example. Yeah, like, you know, that looks quite a good spread. Yeah, so I I'm, love that, the white drawing yeah. on top of it too. Mm. So now I'm reconsidering everything. <laughs> it's fine, we can update but, it. You know, no exactly, we can update it, see how we feel. Um, you know, I'm well, the great thing is you have both both versions saved. You didn't overwrite them. So you can exactly. swap them out easily without having to- Which is really nice. Go through, change the PSD, all that good stuff. Yeah. And I think um, that's an important note as well, like when we're designing, to try and keep everything really um, easily changeable and editable, um, you know, saving a new image, keeping both the original and the um, edited, just so that when we, if we find we want to go back to the original, <laughs> we're not uh, saving over it. All right, see, so I'm just even trialing what it would look like with, let's do it as a little quick, um, see what this would look like. Maybe you've got your columns. No, I think I prefer the big columns actually. I agree. Yeah. Maybe you've got the columns there. Let's go back, all the way back. <laughs> All right. Maybe they're just sitting a little bit higher. We could even bring the, the image down a bit bigger. I think I like where this is going, actually. Yeah, it's looking awesome. Yeah. All right. It's looking good. Have you ever seen the local project? No, I don't think I have. It's a like a YouTube channel that features incredible architecture and design in Australia, New Zealand. It's mm. incredible. Um, I should check that out actually, the local project. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that something you knew about or was that in the, um, in the chat? Oh, no, chat didn't mention it, but it is one of my oh. favorite YouTube <laughs> channels. It's so, oh, cool. it just makes me want to visit Australia, New Zealand so badly. Oh, you definitely love it here. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good spot. All right, let's bring in some of these cool, you know, we're banging out these spreads quite nicely, quite quickly. Yeah, I love yeah. your little palm trees. They're quite cool, eh? I'm liking yeah. them too. Let's bring in a couple of those, especially for this spread. This could actually work quite nicely, even just here. Maybe we have another one, let's see what that looks like. I like this one because he's kind of going a little bit in a different direction. Steve says uh, his pals and him took a, a day and drove all around the island of Oahu in a convertible Jeep, of course. What a blast. Oh, that's cool. That would be so fun. I feel like Steve's lived so many lives for everybody in chat. <laughs> yeah. it's in many, Steve, it's Steve from Wellington has definitely lived the lives that we all want to live. Um, all right, let's put on a few little grasses. I reckon, you know, these little bits kind of make it. These little uh -huh. bits are little bits of scratches or grasses um they kind of add to the character of the page i like to say 
throw him in there too. All right. Cool. I think this is looking quite, quite cool. Uh, maybe even this leaf. I like this leaf actually. He's quite a cool guy. Mm -hmm. Bring him in. Have oh, I love fun. that. Just breaking that, that grid. So nice. Yeah. Did you like it there or up here? Kind of liked oh. it in the top left. Yeah. It just felt like such a nice little out, like little detail that was just considered. Yeah. A nice little detail there. Change the color here. I'd love to know how many times we click the mouse a day. <laughs> I'm probably going to get arthritis in my, my finger. Oh, no. <laughs> Far too many. We'll maybe add a couple more little leaves. We could even add one up in the top corner there too. That would be really funny to get a counter for that. I've seen like Twitch streamers and stuff that used to like do Adobe back then. Oh yeah. They used to have and like they... a control Z counter. So oh, every no. time that they would like, or command Z, every time that they would do undo, it would just like add another tab to their <laughs> the list. I don't know if I'd want to see it. Eh? I think I'd be horrified, <laughs> especially how many times we click and there'd be oh, too many, way mm -hmm. too many. All right. I want to add like a cool little word. Oh, here we go. This is the, I think this is the name of the garden. So we can't say, I don't want to butcher it. All right. Maybe we'll put them in white. So you could actually look at, um, if we bring in, let's just go black and then you could even pull them behind and make them a opacity behind there. It could look a bit messy, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but you know, you get the idea. There could be mm -hmm. something to think about. Um, let's pull the opacity back up. I actually think this is the gardens here. So we could even just like give them a bit of a name. Oh, cute. That's a good idea. Corner. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give the gradient map a go here. I don't think I'm going to love it, but let's try it anyway. All right. Oh, not the biggest fan. I think because of the coloring. Yeah. I, I just agree. love the lush green. Yeah, it's something you don't see very often, so. The lush green or the green, uh, the blue, <laughs> the blue the forest. Because <laughs> I don't think anyone sees the blue forest often either. <laughs> <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> Okay, cool. And you can imagine, you know, we'll have a heading there. It could look really nice. Mm -hmm. um, you could even look at, um, I actually like the big white space there. I think that's quite nice. I agree um, as well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's nice to break it up. Um, if anything, probably what I, what I might've done was push it all to the, the right side because we've oh, got yeah. the white space here. So when you're oh, yeah, looking through your booklet, it. yeah, it could look really nice. Um, I think I'd have to, then your heading's going to get in the way. I actually like how this looks though. Um, but then your heading's going to be sitting within the the gap there and it probably won't um, in, in the margin. What do we reckon, guys? <laughs> Left or right? Mm, it's so hard. I think I, feel like I prefer... Left. Yeah, I think I prefer on the left too. Yeah. Definitely. But maybe, I think like you're saying, we probably need to add something that's a little bit more full color on the right side because it seems like we yeah. keep doing left the right side being very white spacey. Definitely. Which is also not a bad Definitely. thing. Like maybe that's no. just the way that it shakes the out. The way that the fine. booklet is. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, cool. I had, um, I asked my Instagram audience yesterday um, if they enjoyed the live, if they had any feedback and I had someone, um, they just uh, commented and said they'd love to know more of the um, process, the client communication um, mm. process and how that all works. And so I thought I'd talk about it just quickly. Yeah, um, But basically what I do um, in terms of client communication, I keep most of it on emails. Um, and obviously like, you know, your first, your big meetings where you're talking about your projects, um, and you're trying to get as much information out of them as possible. You want to do it over zoom or in person for sure. Um, 
you know, I think you can do things in questionnaires and emails, but you might, might miss some points. Um, and I think it's also really nice that your clients get to know you as a designer um, and who you are and your personality. So you'll probably merge um, and create more of a relationship, which probably will mean they will then also come back to you if they like you and they liked working with you. Um, but yeah, and then so I guess following from that, you know, you start working away and I just do everything over email. You know, I'll send them PDFs or if it, there's a really large document, I send them a Dropbox link or, um, you know, we sometimes work on InVision um, to share files, things like that and write notes. So that can also work quite nicely. Um, do you typically have a questionnaire that you start with or like, how do you know that, do you start with like budget questions to see if they can pay you or how do you work mm. with that typically? Um, well, I sort of, especially when we're doing things like branding, I will have a one-on-one -on -one chat with the um, client and I have like a bunch of set questions that we kind of go through, you know, things like what are your val values? What are your goals with the business? Um, you know, <clears throat> What do, you, what do you want to achieve? Where are people going to find you? Things like that. And then from there, I'll just kind of take a, you know, all, all the notes I can and just dive in deep and do my research into the market, into the business. Um, but with things like if it was a brochure, that can be a little bit more complex um, mm -hmm. in the way that, you know, I think sometimes clients, they're not creatives, you know, it's not their job to try and understand all this stuff. So they can have a hard time communicating that. Um, so the best way with that kind of thing, I'll just kind of say to the client, you know, let's have a chat, see me over all the content you would like in the book, um, if you want some imagery, and then I can start kind of mapping things out for you if they don't know where they're going to go with it. Um, even create a bit of a guide, you know, like we've done here. Um, and show them, you know, this is where I'm going to go. We're going to have snorkeling on this page, surfing next. It's going to be a 16 page book. And if they say, yeah, this is, I love this. This is great. This is where I want to head. That's when you can just continue and start designing really. Cool. That's awesome. Um, all right. I reckon this page is looking pretty good. Yeah. I think it's looking awesome. Yeah. Could even add the little flower down there. No, nope, oh. ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next spread. So we've got activities next. Ooh. Awesome. You Everybody loves a good activity. Too. Oh, I love a good activity. I was thinking, what activities did I put in here? Wow, watching, hiking, Ooh. and stand up paddleboarding. Oh, I liked this too. I saw this online actually. Someone said, stand, paddle, glide, and repeat. So that was cute. So. Yeah. Makes it <laughs> sound way easier to do than it is. Oh, for sure. For sure. Um, right. We have about 27 minutes, I believe, before our artist spotlight. Uh, so make sure that you go up into the tab in the top right of your Behance really quickly and nominate yourself or fellow artists or creatives for spotlighting later on. Um, so yeah, Perfect. about 27 minutes before that happens. Sounds good. All right, cool. Let's... So activity. So what I've got here was kind of almost like surfing, but I want to like mix it up a bit again and try something new with the um, with the spread. I actually quite like how this was gonna mm -hmm. gonna like look this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna I might try that. So because we've got we keep putting the big image on the left. Let's try and put the image on the right here this time, That's just to idea. balance it out, make it look really nice there. All right, so we're going to add in the image. Voodoo asks, Christy, what has been the most difficult project you've worked on and why? And how did you solve the issues you faced? Ooh, that's a tricky one. Um, there's not necessarily a difficult project, I feel. If anything, I think it, it's a real... Uh, um, what's the word it's hard to get past when a client comes back and sort of says you know this isn't what I'm after and you sort of you miss the mark um, mm. and that does happen I think it happens to you know you'll still you you could be an expert and still get that feedback um, but you know we do our best to try and not get the feedback like that um, but it happens um, I had one recently actually where a client came back to me I actually loved what I'd put together but then they came back and it just wasn't what they were after um 
and we decided to take a whole full 360 start again basically and then the next concept that i sent sent to them they absolutely loved so um yeah i don't necessarily think there's ever been a really difficult concept uh project that i've worked on it's just when you get that feedback that feels um you know yeah as much as it isn't personal um it's always like ah oh, damn you know I, I really tried tried my best here and it just um wasn't exactly what they wanted this time but that's okay you just got to move on um something that i've actually one of the ran like the most random projects i've ever worked on um would definitely be when i was working for another business um they had a really big building an office building um it wasn't massive it was a two-story building and they said to me oh we want you to you know like a, a vehicle wrap a design for a vehicle mm -hmm. they wanted me to wrap the building and design the building wrap wow and it, which was crazy and i was like what <laughs> And I was thinking, this is crazy. I don't know anyone who's wrapped a building. Um, so that was pretty cool. So I got to design like literally it was it was almost like you imagine the vehicle wraps where it's like that plastic mm -hmm. that they put across the vehicle. It was that kind of that same kind of thing. I think even the print business who did the actual actual signage, it was kind of a first for them too. Yeah. So I can only that was quite that. wild. Yeah. <laughs> um we missed out on the headings here too. That's all right. Um, yeah, so I think that was a really, that was definitely an interesting one. And then obviously I was working in really massive um, scaling in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. So I had to just condense everything down. Um, you know, I think it was even sitting at like, you know, 10% of the size or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> clearly, because Illustrator can't handle like a two-story building. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was quite interesting. And did you do illustrations for that or how, what, what was the no, kind of output for it? It was actually quite a simple design. Um, we had this big globe that I had put together. Um, it was like a globe, a vector globe that I designed. Mm. Um, and it wasn't necessarily illustration work. And it was before I'd owned my business. And I think since owning my business, I've really ramped up in all my projects and like how creative I am. Yeah. Um, so it definitely wasn't as creative as I am now. Um, let's just make a subheading here. When you so go I've, through those like difficult client feedback sessions or complete direction pivots, how do you keep your kind of morale up to, to keep the excitement, to keep the creativity up? How do you reset? It can be it can be difficult actually, and especially if you're you know in person with these in the meetings, and um, you feel really disappointed in yourself a little mm. bit that you didn't hit the mark. Um, I think you've just got to take it on the chin and sort of say, "Yep, that happened, but I'm going to nail it this time," um, you know, and it's gonna I'm going to get this right. And yeah if, yeah, if anything, you've just just got to keep. Uh, putting one step in front of the other. Very inspirational. Mm. Again, I'll pull out my Hannah Montana quote from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's put on the while watching here. Okay, cool. Um, it can be tricky though. It's a hard one. Do you to have to renegotiate? Do you typically need to re renegotiate your contracts for that? Or are your contracts set up in a way that allow you to do another complete direction change? Yeah, they sort of do allow me to do another complete direction change, which is good. Um, and I know that's not like ideal because it can take, you're basically doing another whole concept. Mm -hmm. um, but I really pride myself in, um, you know, really working hard for my clients, not saying that they then I'm doing work for free, but, you know, there's sometimes that I have to really put more effort in and more time, but it yeah, then yeah. will equal to more work in the future. They really appreciate it. They're going to then um, refer me to other people, um, which is really nice. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. What are we doing here? Hiking, hiking, stand up, paddle boarding, and oh, I like this image. And wow, well, watching a nice mix of things. This would be a fun day, I have to say. <laughs> put these all in day. one. You yeah. would be quite tired at the end there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Just lay out by the beach the next day. It'll be fine. Exactly. <laughs> That's when we'll go snorkeling the next day. I'm going to put the greenery in the middle there. 
you know, I think. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the heading will work on this page. Mm. Um, and we'll see if this will start to work out um, this kind of layout or not. When you're, so when you vacation, do you, are you an activities person or are you typically a more like, Ooh. let me lay out and don't bother me. I'm I reckon rejuvenating. Definitely a bit of both. I do get a bit bored just sitting in the sun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I do like to do things. Um, me, when me and my um, now husband went to Hawaii a few years ago, we um, did, you know, went on, we went hiking and we um, went, did a lot of snorkeling and surfing. So he's quite a good surfer, but I, on the other hand, was learning. So I was definitely not the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but giving it a real go. That's awesome. Um, we didn't go whale watching, which would have been really cool. I think it was off season for the whales. Could be wrong, but we did see dolphins. Oh, that's so awesome. That was fun. And a lot of turtles. <laughs> oh, something's happening here. There we go. <laughs> Just going to save this, this one so we don't lose him. All right, let's then uh, move these headings across. Does everyone in, um, who, if anyone's watching, am I going too quickly or is everyone following along quite nicely? I feel like they're probably following along quite quite nicely, but quite nicely? chat, okay, let cool. us know if you're let us know. getting lost or if you have any questions, please let us know. Yeah. We'll happily answer them. Definitely. <laughs> Steve says, oh, yes, learning to surf is great stuntman training. You mostly fall a lot. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> is Steve a stuntman? Steve, are you a stuntman as well? <laughs> I know he's a sommelier <laughs> and a designer. What is that? Oh. Sommelier is like a person who like, is, has expertise knowledge in like a beverage. Typically oh, like that sounds cool. Wine sommeliers, they'll tell you everything about the region and the notes oh, that cool. you taste and all that stuff oh wow that's really cool i feel like i'd be a stuntman in a previous life or something that'd be pretty yeah cool. that would be an epic job wouldn't it a stuntman It'd be pretty cool it would be pretty cool what steve says i've done some stunt work in my younger <laughs> days no way steve's an all-rounder <laughs> holy moly what i love legend. it I I was I was a competitive horse rider for a long time. Oh, that's right. Um, so that was my stunt, my stunts that I did. <laughs> how, how long did you compete for? Um, I was probably competing for about ten years, so quite a long time. Yeah. Um, I loved it. It was very cool. So you know, in this kind of layout, I'm not sure where. I'd like, I don't mind how the heading's sitting. Like I couldn't, you could even shift. I don't know how that would work um, with this one. I kind of like it though, it's kind of different. You know, just for the, the sake of showing different layouts and seeing where we could go, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a few different things here. Um, Cause I think it's really nice showing some inspirational layouts some ideas of different layouts we could do. Maybe we're gonna make this guy white. Oh, I do like this image. If anything, this image makes me want to go swimming. <laughs> it does. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's the water. You could even pull. See, it's interesting, you know, like, I like this, except because your eye is going from left to right mm. and going from the left top corner to the right bottom, but the heading's right at the end, so it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. Maybe there's like Which, some copy we could put there that mm, isn't necessarily a headline for heading. that section. Yeah. Yeah. Let's actually take this back up here. Sweet guy. Like make new whale friends, or I don't know. I don't. I'm trying oh to think. Oh my god, like I love that. <laughs> Nemo quotes. I'm gonna Nemo quotes. I'm gonna add that in. <laughs> Stop. That's cute. No, now I want to go swimming and make whale friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
you know, I reckon even just the heading sort of can just be somewhere here. Nah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Where would you where would you put the heading if in a layout like this? Uh, I think it would depend on what the copy is. I think it mm. could be really fun to like break that header out into like three different lines if it, if you had like three or three different words. Yeah, something like that where it's like. What if get, you went? I don't know. Get active now sounds like the most yeah. motivational <laughs> speech ever. It also sounds like a um an advertisement for. Like running weight losses or, or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah the, I mean, the idea is here. We've got the idea yeah. here. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I I actually like I like this idea. Um, yeah. Definitely would you know would need to work with the copywriters and uh, talk to <laughs> them about talk to somebody, about the copy here. Somebody save us. Yeah, exactly. So you could go go find. Nemo. Oh, there we go. Still not quite right, but you know. <laughs> and you'd almost want them to be all quite like even four to five liters. So look, but I think this looks a lot more balanced. So the idea is there. Um, this would work quite nicely with the um, snorkeling spread, definitely. I have to stop you really quickly to tell you that dopegasm used we were talking about this person yesterday using your illustrations for the project they just linked in chat their enhanced project using your illustrations for i believe this was actually for a client this is the first behance project um and i will sh send you the link after uh we're done today but it's so Amazing. cool and so exciting to see the work uh done leveraging your assets so really well done work. Dope. I would That's honestly amazing. love that. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited to see that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, they made business cards with a lot of your illustrations and things. It's oh my gosh. so cute. It's awesome. Amazing. I love that. Yeah, really well that'd done. Be real, that'd be really cool to see. Yeah. Definitely, definitely uh, want to see that one. Um, awesome. You know, it can add these cool little um, spikes to the to our little quote here. Make new whale friends. And add one at the bottom. Oh, it's the whale and its friends. <laughs> Cute. Oh, it's adorable. I like the little uh, like confetti with it. Yeah. Adding a little bit, uh, a little bit of something, something to the text there. Mm -hmm. And then we could even go ahead and add, so what are we doing? We're going traveling, we're looking at the views, we're hiking, we're stand up paddle boarding. Oh, this is where little jandals might come in quite cute. I might even just pop them in. Um, except you're not gonna wear jandals hiking, are you? No. I mean, might as well. <laughs> you might as well, for sure. You could even pull them up like you're going to go on a little adventure. <laughs> Beautiful. You know, I quite like them, how they're sitting there. So cute. Yeah, it's quite fun. A little bit funky. All right, we're starting to, even like looking back over the other uh, grids and layouts, there's some cool grid ideas here. I really like this page, how this one came out. Yeah, that's that's a nice awesome. one. Mm. And then we've got a really cool, um, you know, spread with our really big type, that image in it, the first spread. Yeah, this is looking great. Yeah. Joel is here from your Instagram. Oh, uh, hello, so Joel. Thanks people. for joining. Yeah. I love I love that party people. Oh, this um, song. Voodoo Val's got another question for you. That's a great one as well. Ooh, let's said, hear it. Christy, you said that some of your designs can be very out there. Can you tell us about a project where you took some design risks and you felt making decisions and how did you feel making those decisions and presenting them to the client? Oh, 
So you know what, this is a good example because it didn't end up going well. And this was a client that I was talking about recently that came back and unfortunately just um, the direction wasn't in the right direction, I guess. I wasn't going in the right direction for what the um, project should have been. And I had created these really epic illustrations and I won't get go into too much detail about it, but um, it was quite out there for the the brand. And I think I had gone too far across that line. Hmm. Um, so when I presented it, I was actually really confident with it. I loved what I'd done. I thought it really suited the brand and the business. Um, but then when I presented it to them, it was almost, like I said, just a little bit, I had taken it a, a step too far. So then I had to kind of draw back um, and say, really go back to my research, what the business was about, the values, um, and then, you know, discover and, and develop a new concept. Um, so, I mean, that was a <laughs> an instant where it didn't work. Um, but I think a lot of the time I'm, I'm very much someone who uses a lot of color and clients often come to me and sort of say, oh, you know, I just want to use um, maybe some nudes and some black and whites. And I'm, I'm not really about all that. Um, it's just not my style of design. It potentially might work for, you know, certain businesses and things. But sometimes I'll say to them, you know, try this splash of color, this bold color, see how that works. And a lot of the time they come back and, and love it. So it can work in that sense as well, which is really cool. That's awesome. Um, maybe we'll do a few little splashes with the whale. Weehoo. I'm just gonna just group these ones. That was a good question, actually. Yeah, Val's questions are incredible. Always yeah. Wonderful. I love that whales always make it look like you're waving at them or they're waving at oh, you. Yeah, he, he does actually. Yeah. <laughs> he really does. I like his little splash. It looks almost like he's breathing, <laughs> um, breathing out the water. One of one of the words. Oh, look, we've even got a splash, a uh, little word here. Maybe uh -huh. we'll try all these in white. I Beautiful. love how, how thoughtful you are with all these little illustrations and, and like, words that you started sketching out yeah like, they've really come together <laughs> yeah i don't feel like there's ever been a time where like oh i don't have an illustration or a word for that thing <laughs> like oh yeah. actually what on <laughs> my bag here. of tricks yeah. <laughs> i made sure i covered a few things um what's this one? Oh, sunshine clouds we've got discover aloha beautiful lots of different ones there i'd even quite like to add in a couple more of these little line ones maybe Mm. throughout here maybe somewhere like go it could be an underline on go yeah. emphasis that go let's do that chloe asks hi christy do you ever use the baseline grid the baseline grid no i actually don't actually use the baseline grid um i will often accidentally turn it on yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no it's just i think with that as well it's a personal preference really and just sort of what works for you um, actually, I'm gonna switch them up there. Seems to be a bigger thing for web design, in my opinion. Definitely, yeah, I think so. Um, all right, even this page is this page is starting to come together. I reckon I'm just gonna add a couple of these little marks to add the graininess. Oh, we're taking the whole whale over. Don't want to do that. We've got about seven minutes before our artist spotlight. So if you Ooh. haven't nominated yourself or a friend, uh, make sure you do that in Behance on the, our live chat up in the top right side. I'll say artist spotlight. You can nominate whoever you want. It's a good time. Epic. I can we starting to look really good. Uh, you know, you could even look at dropping that, yeah, that word down there. Let's make these guys bold. Yeah, nice. This is looking quite fun. I like the spread now. Mm -hmm. It's all in the heading, you know? Go find Nemo. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, was that I'm previous inspired. one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. About the previous one, go be active or something. <laughs> Get <laughs> yeah. active now. Get active now. <laughs> Go find it new ones like, way better. <laughs> it just sounds like an advertisement. I love it. All right, cool. And we can even add just like little perfect, nice balance there with those little guys. 
I keep talking about my art like and they're real people. <laughs> they are real people. They are. Yeah, they are. You know, it's good. Yeah, even watch like seeing this all come together, like these pages, I'm loving the full colour. Um, so I think near the end, I want to go back and even maybe see what the first pages would look like with their full colour images. It might mm. change the whole look of it, but I'm definitely keen to give it a go. Let's see how that turns out. All right, I think we're looking quite cool. Uh, yeah, I think so. Maybe just a little scratchy. I love this guy. I keep using him in like all the spreads. <laughs> See Why do you think you like that scratchy so much? <laughs> <laughs> I think because of the, this is such a designer thing. Like it's, it's a bit more subtle than the others, mm. but it's like just a little bit of like texture, graininess that I kind of like. Yeah. But then I don't know if it, uh, suits the, the page as much as the others so yeah let's let's bring those out Eric we're starting to look cool like if you're zooming out the grids you can see the grids even in all in the zoomed out uh view yeah and i'm starting to to like how it's all coming together shall we uh, present this to hawaii and they can they can get it off me. <laughs> I, I think that if you present it to Hawaii, they have no choice but to fly you out and uh, oh, an all expenses paid whale it's... hiking, <laughs> stand up paddle board Surfing. adventure. <laughs> yeah. Surfing, snorkeling, oh. definitely all the above. And I've got to find Nemo. Exactly. I mean, you'll be busy doing that too. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be busy doing a few bits and pieces in Hawaii. Yeah. All right, cool. I think this is looking quite quite fun let's it's great we've got about four minutes still before the artist spotlight so cool. we'll probably get something teed up yeah all right what's the next page now we've got we're actually getting through the book really nicely we might even like finish it right on smack bang on the end of the um adobe live so this last one is all about the towns so initially I started to think about this kind of layout, which I actually really like. We haven't done much horizontal, everything like horizontal image and then text, everything's mm. been very much um, vertical. So let's give that a go. I think we'll um, add in a image. I'm just loving the, the feature where you just drag and drop, amazing. It's such a great feature. It, who would have known? Clearly I didn't <laughs> for a long time. Oh, this is where we get the real Hawaii vibes with uh, Waikiki. Oh. Is it Waikiki? I think it is. I think someone said uh, yesterday, my sister was watching and she said that someone said my accent was cute. So I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> like the Kiwi accent can sound a bit uh, harsh next to an American's. The oh Kiwi no, a bit. I feel like yeah i don't know as an american i feel like everybody's accents are better than ours oh no <laughs> it's always the way with your own accent hey? yeah exactly uh, let's go and just get these subheadings there's a subheading before oh, no. i'm gonna add my own uh heating here this is the cute little towns of Hawaii. Let's go heading. Um, and then I love all the surfboards stacked up there. They look so epic. They're incredibly cute. They are cool. All right. This is where we can start to add in a little bit of text. And we're going to go for that more horizontal. So we'll have our image and then text on the side, I reckon give that kind of style of um of layout a go oh lost our way there joel reed says the accent is great texture <laughs> cheers cheers oh that probably sounded very kiwi then cheers. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right let's take these across I love how you just kind of wireframe things out really quickly too in these layouts instead of just dropping in tons of photos. You're using like placeholder 
copy and blocks to kind of lay things out really quickly. Yeah, like you could even go ahead and do a whole booklet like that. You know, if you mm -hmm. came in to map it all out, you could even do it instead of doing something like this, actually map it out within uh, InDesign itself and figure out your, your fonts and, um, you know, where things are going to go. It could be a, quite a nice way to start, start your structure, actually. Absolutely. Let's go. And we'll add in some body text. Oh, that's not text, that's a box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to add in the text now. Beautiful, we'll just add a bit more. All right. You could even look at, I could even bring this little guy up in line with, um, in line with that text there. And then we could have our body a little bit bigger. See what that looks like. Mm. Let's just paste that on the end. Choop. And then bring this one down. And if we then go ahead and copy and paste all those down. So you can start to actually bring and flesh out your uh, grid really quickly. Um, just to see, great. yeah, what the overall vibe is. Um, and then the last one. Once you wrap that one up, we can jump straight into the artist spotlight. Sure thing. I'll, I'll pretty much finish here for now anyway. Cool. I think we'll, uh, we can jump into the artist spotlight. Let's do it. So in case you all are unfamiliar with the artist spotlight, there's a tab in Behance on the top right for the Artist Spotlight tab. You can nominate yourself or a different artist or anybody to be featured. Today, we have an artist. Drum roll, please. Um, this is an artist that I've nominated. Her name is Abby Conrick. Um, she's actually in the UK. Um, and I've just been following her for a while. I wanted to showcase her, her designs. I just think she does an incredible job of like, really cool custom typography branding um her colors are really awesome she's quite similar in her colorways in terms of um similar to me say and the way that she's just really bold loves a really big contrast in colors um you know just yeah all her illustration work is really cool she also brings in a lot of her uh, vector illustrations and drawings into her work and i just think she does such a cool job of of all that um, this is quite a funky project that she did recently, bringing in those bright colors again. I think it's um, so nice to see. It's quite unique, you know, and then the, even the type here, bringing in that custom G um, always looks really cool as well. And just making a little, giving it a little bit of different and adding something extra. I agree. And I, I actually really love her website as well. I think it's a really great example of how to build a clean yet personal feeling website. So definitely check out her Instagram, give her a follow, give her all those likes and check out her website because it's pretty sweet. Yeah, very clean website. I'm actually curious to know what she's made it on because it is so mm. clean. Um, this is also something else I really liked of hers. And I know she has a YouTube channel. So, and yeah. it, it, it's amazing. So um, definitely hit her up. She does really cool tutorials, um, you know, how to brand, how to create brands, how to custom um customized fonts things like that that's all really cool stuff and she even sort of showcases how she made i watched this video where she made this crispy cream um rebrand just for fun um so definitely check all that stuff out because she's really really awesome wow she's got some little animation chops too that's exciting yeah her youtube videos feature a lot of this kind of stuff um oh, cool. which make it so cool to watch and you know it's more than just the design she gets really creative with all that stuff. That's awesome. Very cool designer. Um, and she actually just did her own personal rebrand. Um, you can see when her Instagram changes. Mm -hmm. um, and her her branding, her personal branding for herself is actually also very inspiring. I loved her colors, bringing in those like fuzzy gradients, almost glowy, um, glowing gradients are really cool. 
Yeah, it's awesome. I, I mm. we all know how difficult it is to do your own personal branding. So to have something so kind of clean, simple, robust, the poster mockups she did super great as well. So that's yeah, awesome. I love like added texture to projects and to even like logos um, and mm -hmm. presenting them in a different way using those kind of textures are really really nice. Yeah, it's great. Cool. Sweet. Oh, she's got some epic stuff. Definitely check her out, guys. You will uh, not be disappointed, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Well, you want to hop back cool. in? I know we've got about 20 minutes left. So Cool. I reckon we could be almost looking at um, finishing this document up, which would be pretty cool. I oh, actually awesome. didn't think we would get through it. In two hours or four hours all up, we got through a full uh, design of a booklet, really. So let's start to play more around with these with this guy here you know i'm gonna actually bring um that text in a little bit and we could even shift him over one column and give him a little bit of room there i think that look, works a little bit nicer we could even make the heading a little bit shorter that's quite tidy maybe we'll just pull them over just to that edge there as you can see, you know, I'm still, when I work, I flick between those two views so much. Um, and I just think that really helps with making sure I'm still keeping to those guides, um, but also still making it sure, making sure it looks really cool and really good um, in the preview mode as well. Maybe we'll move him right across there. Let's start to bring in some images into this. What are you thinking for these images? These ones here? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't love them as much as the previous ones. Oh, that's so pretty though. It is so beautiful. Uh, the other ones I feel are uh, more um, lifestyle kind of images. Mm -hmm. These definitely feel a little bit more, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, but they're still beautiful. We visited uh, Lahaina and it was so beautiful there. Such a cool little town. Um, and then we've got Waikiki, which is also a classic in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, you can't go to Hawaii without going here. I see, look at that. Like that image is beautiful. Yeah, that's incredible. So nice. Oh, to be able to just go and fly there right now. The dream. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just bring those down a little bit and pop them in. And this one, the last little guy here. Oh, the turtles. <laughs> They're massive. They are massive. Yeah, huge turtles. Oh, so cute. Quaint and cute town in Maui. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, the, I guess the thing you've got to watch as well, because I added them in as blocks to start mm -hmm. with, um, Sometimes you get that tiny faint line around it. You can't actually some, like see it too much, but depending on what view you're in, if you're zoomed right up close or a little bit further out, sometimes I can actually, I feel like I can see the edge of that. So I just like to make sure I turn them off. That's a good so there's call. Been, yeah, no color behind it. <laughs> Paul Loma says, in awe of these photos. Yeah, they're incredible. Like, <laughs> yeah, these are so nice. These are they, like these ones are from Adobe Stock. They're so like, oh, just like oh, please, great. let's all take take me there. <laughs> yeah, well, look at that. I've just been on this journey for four hours with you, almost four hours, and now I'm just ready to book plane. Yeah, ready to book to yeah. Hawaii. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I was thinking maybe about putting a different image here, but I'll just have a look, see what I've got. Um, I actually quite like the one we've got here. It's quite cool. I like the big surfboards. Um, yeah, <laughs> Steve cool. says those turtles look a hundred times huger looking when they, <laughs> when they swim up beside you on your air mattress as you float around the beach. I love that. <laughs> those don't look like your classic. Uh, they almost, what are the, there's different types of turtles, isn't there? I've lost them now. These ones. Sea turtles and those look like. Those look massive. Yeah, the biggins. Huge. 
this is no longer a design tutorial this is learning about turtles <laughs> it's like the the little old youtube kid it's like i like turtles <laughs> yeah oh, i love it i do love turtles <laughs> joss says lol the truth one of the scariest moments i've ever had while surfing a turtle surface right behind me Ooh. oh really i love that you know you could even um have the heading there or something and you could actually even look at bringing that subheading down here maybe it's a little bit longer um maybe it said um oh i like that subhead right there like that yeah oh, it's quite nice, nice. I, it mm -hmm. would be quite nice if it was oh, i was gonna say even a little bit longer so that really stand it out a bit more but i actually kind of like you know depending on what the wording was there it's it's definitely dependable your layouts can really depend on what you have for your content mm. like if we imagine these layouts if we had like heaps and heaps of content it just wouldn't look the same it wouldn't be as clean so it definitely would make a difference let's actually shift this up so we can try and get that heading you know if we were um if i was really wanting to use this image here i could even go and look at um opening up in photoshop and just doing some really minor changes, which might be um, adding the burn, adding a bit of a burn through here, just oh. to like darken that up just slightly, like so minor that when we, if we save that, um, and it might mean that we just get a little bit of a darker point through there, just so the G stands out just slightly. Um, so let's try that. And um, we're going to go towns. Oh, it sort of did a little bit, didn't do too much. You can kind of, it probably wasn't en enough and I probably needed to Photoshop just this little bit in here just to darken that up a little bit. Well, I guess it depends on what, what you're going to write in that space too. Might, Definitely. Like I think, you. Um, yeah, you had a word that was, didn't have the G. Maybe we can make it a bit hit, hidden here. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can kind of do some things like that if you've got a big bit of text. I um, often go in and just edit like some things slightly just to make the like white pop a little bit more. Um, That's a great tip instead of doing drop shadows and things like that because they can get pretty messy. Yeah. You know, I don't mind a little drop shadow, but it's just going to be like a tiny, tiny one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like when I first started doing graphic design, I threw drop shadows on everything and Definitely. that was a mistake. And <laughs> now I just can't bring myself to adding drop shadows to anything. I remember I did this poster and it had this like, um, what would you call it? Curved kind of shell like um, mm. shape. And then I added a drop shadow to it and it was massive. And I was like, oh. Blinding on the eye. <laughs> um, all right, let's add a cute, I like this shell. Let's add some shells and stuff. Oh, he looks a bit cute there. Um, I think as a designer, I say cute way too much. Cute. I think that's my way of saying it looks good. That's for sure. All right. Add a few little little dots to kind of add some graininess. Steve has named it. It's the drop shadow fever. Everyone going way overboard at first. I like it. <laughs> drop shadow fever. Yeah. You you definitely do when you start out. It's it's a thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, but then again, I do love drop shadows and like really big um animated style logos like your kids mm. logos and things something you might see on um kids toys i mean drop shows can look so good and stuff like that they really can especially if they're super soft and you know especially certain trends pulling mm. in color drop shadows are a thing and again and I, yeah. I can do it it's just i really struggle getting over like you know it's like whenever you eat too much of one food and then yeah. you never want to eat it again it's kind yeah. of how I feel about drop shadows. <laughs> drop shadows. <laughs> it definitely is the drop shadow fever. Yeah. I love that. 
we're bringing back all the all the trends oh nice that's looking great yeah so we could even pop him in there somewhere that's looking quite cool um and then we could even try you know i feel like that um title hidden here actually works quite nicely for yeah. the spread because we're going somewhere <laughs> I love it. which is quite cool um, what would you do for the we, sub the subhead i don't know maybe you could do a little like um you could say something like um jump from island to island and explore hawaii <laughs> there you go there you go so You're let's such even a have that in there oh do you reckon oh, i think you're pretty good at it yeah <laughs> jump from island to island and explore oh, i've got it explore the beauty of hawaii oh, amazing oh look at that we've got to watch that little uh um, hyphenation yeah where is he here he is oh see now nah, that doesn't look good mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll just extend it out a little bit we could even just look at you could just do like it. island hop and explore the oh beauty. yeah of Hawaii nice. Or like that. nice. Look, we could start a um, copywriting business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there you go. Even something like that would look quite cool. Explore is uh, misspelled. Oh, classic. Classic me. There we go. There Look we at go. that. Now, full service creative copywriting editing <laughs> skills. We got it. Right here. Christy and Alex. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Okay, this is looking really good. I reckon you could even do cute little. What'd you call this? Uh, what'd you call? You called them confetti before, actually. I did little say like, confetti, but that was. I liked it. I didn't mean to disparage your. Sketches. No, no, this is good. Confetti. I was even gonna say spark, mm, like a little. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we. This is looking cool. I like this spread actually. This is, could be one of my favorite ones. I agree. And Chris Olsen says, maybe. looks great. I love the layout. Oh, beautiful. Paul was talking about copywriting on a uh, list of courses to take. So oh, cool. that's great. Love that. Keep getting that education. Yeah. Got to keep learning. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Maybe add in a little shell. It can be all about the shells here. Yes, it's such an art trying to get that, trying to get the randomness, but still looking well placed. Yep, absolutely. I oh, see. I quite like them there. There may be one tiny, one little something something. Oh, piece of pineapple. What about this one? We haven't done any of the pineapple and stuff. Oh, so you've got a shell and a weird little bit of lemon. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. A perfect mix. <laughs> All right, this is looking cool. And maybe let's do this little heart. Throw him in there too. Oh, I can't wait to see this uh, this project that um, someone used with all the stuff, all the illustrations. I'm so excited about that. Oh, cool. I'm this is looking good. I like this page. You know. That's something else you got to watch. You got to watch these bad boys. Uh, what are they called? Just the text. You know, if this was real text, I want to make sure that that's all being shown. Mm. I obviously wouldn't delete it <laughs> like that, but because it's placeholder, we can. Yeah, I always forget what they're actually called, but I just know them as the. You've mm. got too much text in this box, and you're. Yeah, <laughs> make it shorter. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just keep getting. Oh. My computer just uh, lost the plot. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're back into it. Here we go. Now we're looking good. Tim is saying that uh, drop shadows are tricky to get right unless you're going full 90s. Uh, mm. which, you know. You know, like I feel like even if you added a little drop shadow here, I'm just going to give it a go. See, that would be way too strong. You'd want to make it really small. Even just to try and make it pop out a little bit. Mm. Everyone's going to be going closer to their computers, like trying to have a look. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Squinting their eyes. Yeah, see, that definitely does make the white pop out a little bit. Like you can, can see. 
but it's it does stand out quite well without it so yeah I definitely agree. something you could look at adding if you wanted to give it a little extra uh pop there clever says that they're called overflow warnings which is a way better more eloquent way of saying it than i said it yes no for sure i didn't i I don't even know if at university we were taught what they're called. All right, let's, uh, that's looking really cool. I like where it's going. You know, I was going to do one last um, spread and it was actually going to be about saving the oceans. I was going to get inspirational for your last spread. Uh, and a fact that I didn't know, an estimated 8 million tons of plastic enters our oceans every year. Wow. So you know what? Let's actually put that. We're going to just make a little. Um, we got about five page. minutes, so it'll be a sprinty yeah. boy. Do you reckon we can? This will be a, a test. See how fast Christy can design. I think you can do it. I, <laughs> I think I can too. All right. Even let's hit it with. I'm just going to go this gradient here. Even though this guy's surfing, I want to throw in a gradient map. Make him smaller. So I'm going to, because we're working on the back page here, I want to match that front page in terms of we've got the, a bit of a border on there. So I just want to bring that border in on the last page too. And actually, let's just grab a couple of these headings because I will make them. Uh, in the last page, this can just be the back page of the book clip where we've got our final little bit of stuff. Find a little bit of text. Yeah, that's such a good way to finish it. It's like yeah. Um, you know, I'm teaching everyone about design and also reminding them to save the oceans. <laughs> <laughs> Can you multitask any better? Come on. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Nailing it. <laughs> I actually quite like it. Um, this text. You know, it feels just a bit more striking. I agree. Um, let's even make, put him a let saver on a different line. You could even bring this one up and maybe just balance those out nicely. Um, so I can't believe we've pretty much finished this booklet just in time. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're a professional. You nailed it. <laughs> and it's almost like I knew how long this was going to take me. Exactly. Beautiful. And let's even just make that white. You know, I'm even thinking maybe we'll put uh, this all in the in this font here. Just That's for that last great. page. Just see if we can finish it off nicely. We're pretty much there. Even throw in a source there for you because so I do think it's important when you've got facts in your uh, booklets and things if you've got it from a resource add it in there if you can I agree beautiful oh yeah um, we're coming together maybe we'll make that that blue And it's actually really balancing out quite nicely, both sitting on that top grid line there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. You know, and let's go back to that front page, grab our little logo. We could even pop them on the back there. Make that look really nice. Wow, that's oh, awesome. look at that. So cute. <laughs> so, so cute. <laughs> So let's kind of go through the whole booklet and what you've done over sure. the last two days and four hours, knocking out like 16 Ooh. pages. Ooh. So if you guys followed along, good on you. Um, so obviously when we spoke about potentially removing the gradients, this would be the time where I might go back and review that because mm -hmm. um, we've kind of got the main structure there. So we've got our, our title page. It's looking really cool. Contents, you know, you'll change your page numbers out. See, I do love the gradients here but then we do go into these pages and I don't love the mix as much. I think there's just, because there is a lot going on, it could be too much going on having the gradients um, mixed in with the real photographs. Um, so that would be something I'd like to take a look at. 
you know, you've got your cool spread. You could always look at adding another spread like this near the end. Um, I do like this page as well. This came out really cool. Uh, I think this came out quite nicely. Um, you got your surfs up, ride those waves. Uh, your views, so all about your volcanoes and your more tourist places to go. And then our, of course, our Go Find Nemo page with the whale. I loved this actually, this turned out really nice. Um, I liked how we use the, there was a good suggestion there. Yeah, these are uh, all so, so beautiful and so incredible. Yeah, they've come out really nicely actually. And another, so really just cool inspiration for different layouts you could do. Um, and of course, the last page which we did in about two minutes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely Beautiful. crushed it. It's amazing. Um, I'm stoked with this. You've absolutely done a fan fantastic job over the last two days. What is the website and Instagram and everything that you want people to kind of go to? Obviously, you got to be hands. Give us a shout. Tell us where we yes. can find you. So I am just pink pony creative everywhere. That's pink like the color and pony like the horse. Um, you'll be able to find me on Instagram, TikTok and Behance as well. Um, and also my website, pinkponycreative.com. Um, would love to have you guys there. If you guys followed along, please share and tag it with me. That would be really awesome to see. Um, and thank you all for watching. I honestly appreciate it so much. And I've just loved being on Adobe Live. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a wrap for us today. But stay tuned, we got the Premier Pro Daily Creative Challenge coming up with Sharin, and then coming up after that, the draw along with Kyle T. Webster at 2.30 p.m. PST. It's the last one, let's make it the best one. Uh, just, it was such a great series with him, so thank you so much. Um, but we will be back very shortly, so stick around, but thank you so much, Christy, really appreciate it. It's been so much fun. I'm no sure worries. we'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys, bye. bye.